What's up guys? I'm back with another video. Today is September the 6th, 6.07, and I am prepping for the Igleda live recording that's happening next week on the Friday the 16th, I think it is. Friday the 16th, yes. It's September, Friday the 16th in La República Dominicana, the Dominican Republic. Super pumped to be a uh, part of this to get to MD this live recording um, Yeah, really excited. I think it's gonna be a great great um, Recording great material great new songs that she's releasing So for this live recording, I'm not producing this record. So uh, I'm just the MD for the live live record for the live concert and I'm playing keys and um, I'm obviously I'm running tracks. So the guys that are producing this Mainly, it's a guy named Felipe. Uh, he's a guy from Brazil. Uh, he's great, does great work. Uh, and then I think Chris Rocha has done a few of these, produced a few of these songs. Now, the Chris Chris Rocha stuff is mixed. I've gotten tracks mixed. Uh, a lot of the other tracks from Felipe, they are not mixed. So I'm having to mix them. Luckily, the session I'm working on right now, I actually just finished it, but I want to show you the session. Uh, these are mixed, so these sound incredible. I'm gonna let you hear a little bit of part, a little part of the song and some of these guides. So these are the guides I just. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to I have multitracks.com guides and I want to switch these out to the Chris Chris Strader guides. So I'm gonna change these out. I'm, I'm gonna show y'all what I'm doing. So. Intro two three four. So intro two three four. So go here and look for the intro audio. Intro. Two, three, and four. Let's hear it out. Intro, two, three, four. Yo. Verse. 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 Also, uh, if you can see here on top, I've added uh, MIDI markers. Just, it makes life easy for me uh, to do it on my master session so that when I go in and make a session for the concert, all this will be there and I don't have to go in and make these locators and rename them. All I have to do is add the locator. I don't have to rename them because I have this right right there already. So it makes life easy. Chorus. 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 Oh, it's just pre-chorus. This is the chorus. So here, this is chorus again. So I hold option, and then I can just drag this one over, and it just copies it over. Vamp. Pre-chorus. 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 So like uh, when I made these guides, you know, a while back, uh, multitracks.com doesn't have guitar solo so this is a nice thing about Chris's he does have a guitar solo audio so I'm gonna add that here the guitar solo interlude I'm pretty sure Mike X track bass. I might be wrong about this one, but I I I'm almost positive he track bass. He's killing. Listen to this. Yeah, he's killing. Outro. 
outro and break down there. Break down. Also, I don't like ending. I like end. He has that as well. End. <clears throat> All right, so I'm done with the, my guides. Uh, I am like a complete neat freak when it comes to my, my sessions. I like everything to look good, uh, everything to be color coded. Um, actually, let me take these off. And so, um, as you can see, uh, everything's color coded um, and I also do that for um, I also do that because I run multiple outs at the church pretty much anywhere I go for this live recording I I want to run eight outs I still need to talk to the engineer make sure we can do that but the more outs the better that way they have more control over what's happening but basically um, on my you know, my session for the concert, I will have five outs. I will have a guitars and keys, which are green, and that'll be left and right. There will be a background vocals, which are yellow, and that'll be left and right. There will be a mono return for uh, drums and percussion. There will be a mono return for synth basses. There will be a mono return for clicks, and there will be a mono, mono return for guides. And the reason I split the guides and the click is because mo most of the time, singers uh, want to be able to turn the guide up louder. Um, and instead of me having to turn it up on the session, and it turns up for everyone, everybody, everybody has a... Um, each person can adjust the volume of the guide. So that's why I do that. On another note, when we go back to the whole cleaning up my session, I like to consolidate this so that you don't see all these audio files all chopped up. So what I do is go to the end and then drag it all the way to the front. And then here's a key keyboard shortcut. You'll do Command J and it consolidates it for you. And then it says intro right now and then it has the date and all that stuff. I don't need all that. So I will click Command R to rename and then I'll do guide and boom there it is intro two three four another thing that I do is I warp all my tracks which these are already all the tracks here are warped um, and I do that because when I throw it into my session my new session for the recording I, I once I set it where I want it to be at, I can go into the click, double click, double double tap the click, and then I can go into follow, and the master session will snap to the BPM that's on this click, which is incredible. Uh, that way I don't have to automate all this stuff. Now I can automate, I can do all that stuff, but I just find like my workflow, this is much faster, this is much easier, uh, which is why I do that. We are doing uh, nine songs nine songs that are actually gonna go on the recording from what she's saying and then we're gonna do three of her older stuff that she um that she's already recorded in the past not sure if it's gonna go on the album i don't think it is she said it wasn't but still i have to prep for what is that 12 songs and have the tracks for so i've done uh de aquí dios no ha terminado contigo El Impacto is three. Estoy aquí, four. Exhibit to Gloria, five. Grita Fuego, six. Um, Lo Que Dios Te Prometió, seven. Mujer Sabia, eight, which is the one we're on. Nada Me Separa, nine. That's the one we're tracking guitars for. Padre Santo, ten. So I only have two more that I got to fix and edit and um, mix. I'll be done with building each master session for that song and then all I have to do is make my general session that I'll be using at the recording so uh, it's a little time consuming especially when they're not mixed luckily like Mujer Sabia this song that we're actually that we're on right now this one was mixed which made life easy I didn't have to go in and mix but unfortunately in other songs 
Uh, also, the, these stems were grouped, as you can see here. You can see the guitars, lead guitars, piano, keys. Like, they're all grouped. And the other stuff, the other songs, they're not. So I have, like, kick, snare, tom one, tom two, tom three, overhead left, overhead right, room left, room right. And then, like, a thousand guitars, a thousand keys. And so I have to go and consolidate and mix and all that stuff. So it takes quite a bit of time. Um, so that's what I'm doing. But I got two more, and I'm done. We're going to be working on... Once Paul gets here, we're going to be working on Nada Me Separa De Ti. It's an older song that she's already done. <coughs> um, and we're trying to change it up. If I were to show you, let me show you the original. So it's like dance, you know, type style. Um, what we're trying to do is make it sound a little bit more funky. Um, so like... So we're gonna track some guitars like that and then my friend Mark is tracking some synths, make it sound a little bit more um, more funky and stuff like that. So and then I've added like a just a loop so also we played it live on uh this past week in Seattle And so we played it and um, she felt like it was too slow and she's used to the like disco. So we're trying to, we're trying to, you know, come to a happy medium. She wants the disco. She likes the disco. She felt like it was too slow. The original BPM is 120. I'm putting it at 124. See how, what she thinks. Um, probably track everything in 124. And then um, still maybe kind of keep the disco feel, but with a more of a funky sound. Um, because we were just straight up grooving um, at the concert in Seattle and she wasn't too crazy about it. She likes the disco. She's the artist. And so at the end of the day, we got to do what she wants, what she's comfortable with, but also trying to create like a live arrangement of it uh, to where it doesn't sound like the studio version or the record. Um, just kind of change it up for the live record. So that's what we're going to be working on today as well. And, um, yeah. All right. So, Paul just got here. What's up? Poli. And, uh, we're about to start tracking guitars for this song, Nada Me Separa. Um, it's gonna be cool. Just gonna come up with some concepts and see what, what fits, what works, what we like best. And, uh, hopefully, Clea likes it at rehearsal on Thursday. So. <laughs> Just finished messing around. <laughs> Is that what we're gonna call it? Messing around? <laughs> nah, we finished tracking. Uh, we had <laughs> messing around for sure. <laughs> we went in. We were just uh, kind of fiddling around with the song, just figuring out what different things work and what don't. Um, I'm gonna send it to her, see if she likes it. Hopefully, she does. Uh, Cause we just put all of this work for it. Um, no, it's fire though. Um, and so that's where we're at right now. Um, it's nine forty six now. Um, I'm gonna call it a night. So, Paul. Yep. Any last remarks? Yes. Thanks for tuning in. Always, y'all. Subscribe to your boy if you haven't. Peace. All right, guys. Thursday, September 8th, and um, 
currently prepping for rehearsal for the recording tonight. We're doing it here at my church. Um, so excited the guys are coming. Just finished setting up my Moog. So David uh, is going to probably do some synth basses and stuff. So we're using mine. I just imported some Daryl Freeman presets that my buddy Steven blessed me with. Thanks, bro. So I need to grab a mixer and then so that it can all go to the same signal. Little mixer, bass, sub bass, and then they'll go in here. Um, so yeah, we actually got one backlined for the DR. Also got a stage three backlined for the DR. So I don't have to take mine. So yeah, just kind of prepping for rehearsal. I'm gonna try and capture some of the audio. Try and capture some of the rehearsal. Um, and just so you can kind of feel, see how it's gonna feel, all that stuff. I'm pumped. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be a great time. So y'all stay tuned. So I wanted to show you. I finished my master session. This is what it looks like. It's 14 song, 13 songs. Forgot to consolidate this one, so you can see it's all choppy and whatnot. But I haven't added my marker, my locators on each deal yet. Uh, haven't done my returns because I'll probably do that once I get to the DR just to see how many what outs the producer and engineer wants me to do and then i've left this open space here if you see because my buddy mark is making us a concert intro into the first song which is the scene that came one two intro two three four so yeah that's where we're at right now and uh it is 5 20 and uh david elizondo's flying in for rehearsal he lands in at six. Um, I gotta pick him up. And then we're gonna hit rehearsal at seven. Not sure how long it's gonna last. I'm sorry, my phone is blowing up, guys. Let me turn this off. Not sure how long it's gonna last, but um, my goal is to lock in today, make sure that we feel for the most part confident in a lot of the things that we're doing. We can tidy up next week. It's gonna be a lot of time. Yeah, that's where we're at. A rehearsal, maybe grab some dinner, and um, yeah, see how it goes. All right, I am uh, not leaving the church. Let's go pick up David from the airport, about 15 minutes away. And so, pick him up, and then come straight back. Just start hitting rehearsal. Should be fun. Oh, okay, okay. Is that okay? Yeah, I thought it was the car. I was like, damn, I'm so hot. I'm like, I'm so hot. I'm like, I'm so hot. I'm like, I'm so Hey, what up? Praise the Lord. What up? Praise the Lord, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you bring the mono? Huh? Why don't you bring the mono? Uh, because honestly, everything fit in there. So I was like, all right, cool. Let's go. Thanks. Well, I would never. Let's, let's catch that bread. I'll never have it for that on a cheap bag like that, fool. Hey, you know what? That bag has a lot of room, though. Yeah? Yeah, man. Hey, so, so what's up to my followers? Hey, what's up, everybody? Praise the Lord. We are in LA. We're getting ready for center stage right. rehearsal. And uh, we're having a great time, man. Right. And I'm man. hungry too, so yeah. Appreciate y'all, man. Y'all feedback is important to me. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? So if y'all think uh, Pacheco's doing a good job, please give some thumbs up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Follow and subscribe. All Amen. Right now. Amen. All right. So now we're gonna head to the uh, church. You hungry? Yeah, bro. You hungry? Grab some, like some quick. Yeah, small. please. I haven't eaten all day. All right. All right. All right, so <laughs> we're gonna take David. I was gonna take David to Chick Fil A, but I was like, Chick Fil A, Waterburger. He's like, you know what, bro? It's been years. Let me try Waterburger. So here we are, Waterburger. Nah, let's do Mexican Grill, bro. <laughs> Palomas is bomb. That's what we eat there a lot for lunch. Bro? Yeah. With I'm pastor? Not, I'm not gonna try that. Nah, bro. Unfortunately, this is not how this stuff works. Let's do a meeting with pastor. Bro. What's up? You think so? Yeah. I need to talk to him. 
What are you talking to me about? Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, I'm excited, dude. For real, why? Psych! <laughs> Doug's on you. <laughs> so the kind of friends I have, guys. Just so you never excited, bro. You know, look, Mark can come out in and sex with me. Wow. That's crazy. Bro. You got friends. You got a lot of friends. Bro. I have great friends. So. <laughs> Dang, my boy got some fragments. No, no, no. And no, let some see, pandas. Let me see, let me see. Dang, dude, look. These are fire. See? Okay. Yes, praise the Lord. Greetings in the name of the Lord. Blessings in the mighty name of Jesus. Right. All right. He got his food. We're at the church now. About to set up. I'm happy. I'm content. Amen. He got some light so that we can eat after. Mm-hmm. But uh, we're going to practice and prep and all that stuff so here we go mm-hmm. waiting for the rest of the guys to get here Molly Igleza El Manny Lemus David Say after that, it'll be after we do that. It'll be Crazy dog. Yeah, you're 
dumb, bro. Yo, lie to me. So, what are you doing? All right. Just leaving the church now. We're about to go grab some tacos. I wish. If you get, grab that yeah, yeah, I got you, so uh, I recorded the audio um, off of the USB on the console. So we're listening to it. Hello, Ali! Anyways, heading back to my office now. Put my stuff up and then go, go grab some food. Alright, guys. Um, Hopefully, you got some insight on live recording prep and all that stuff. It's a lot. Still more to go, more things that I have to do prep. Um, from this rehearsal, I have to create some more notes and obviously practice some more, lock in more with, with what we're doing. Uh, I, I, re I recorded our entire rehearsal, so I'll go back and reference what we did in rehearsal. Sorry about that. And kind of just um, lock in a little bit more. So this is it for this vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a little bit different. But um, yeah, it was it was fun getting to do this. Like I said, I'm gonna keep keep doing these vlogs, keep doing more videos like this. I know you guys enjoy are enjoying it, and oh my gosh, sorry guys. Um, I appreciate you guys watching our vlogs like you guys been doing. <laughs> but um, again, really appreciative of the support. Like you, like I say always, like the video, subscribe, share it with somebody. Um, and we'll see you on the next one, David. Stay tuned, everybody. Love y'all. Peace.